Okay, let's have a look how we go do a, a pricey map from this photo to this outline here. The thing about a pricey map is to figure out precise locations of things and also their precise size. So there's a couple of ways of doing that. The most precise one I find, or the most accurate way, is to use a ruler. So you'll see on this outline we already have the coastline on here. So let's figure out how big these two things are. This first one here, let's not use inches, let's use centimeters, is 20 wide, and here is 10 wide. So we see that this one is half the size of this one. So what I need to do is I want to locate the main road that runs through this called Lake Road through here, down to the bottom. Now to put that onto my outline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure where it hits the top part of this. It hits at 4 centimetres. So because this one is half the size, I can simply measure down 2 centimetres and put a mark there. So that will correspond with the same place on this map, but bigger. Then down the bottom, I'm going to find where it hits the bottom of the map. So again, coming across, it hits at 14 centimetres. So here, it's going to hit at 7 centimetres. So I'll put a small mark there at 7 centimetres. What we need to do now is figure out where the kink or the bend is in the middle of the road through here. And that point is 5, 6 centimetres down and 7 centimetres across. So if we are 6 centimetres down, we'll come down 3. And obviously for this point we, want, we should be using a pencil. So we need to grab ourselves a pencil so we can use this and then rub it out. So down at three centimeters will be across here somewhere. Then coming in from the side, it's going to be at seven, so it'll be at three and a half. So at three and a half, there it is. So that's where the bend in that road is going to be. So we now have where it's going to hit the bottom line, where it's going to bend, and where it's starting from. So then we can simply join these up with a fluid line moving through the point we found down to the bottom and that's how we locate the road from this photo to this one. So that's how we locate something really simply. We simply measure, figure out that this is half this size, then everything that's on this map we have to put on this map. So if we're finding the location of the center of this school, we we'll measure down 12 centimetres, so on here we'd simply measure down 6 centimetres. Then we can measure in from the side. Or, conversely, measure up from the bottom, we can see this is 7 centimetres along that road. So if we're dividing everything by 2, this will be 3.5 centimetres. And that school will start here. The school will run for 7 centimetres on here, which is 3.5 on this one. So that tells us that that school there sits at this point. It runs out to the coast, so it simply runs across this road here, across this here to the coast as well, and then we can simply shade in that area. Then it'll just be a matter of putting that in our key and labeling it as a school. So that's how we locate things on a pricey map or a pricey sketch accurately. What we then do is figure out the scale. If we know the scale of this, we can add the scale of this because it's half. So everything in the scale would be doubled in size. Now to figure out the scale, if we know that this photo is at 1 to 20,000, and this outline here is half the size. If we've shrunk things, then the ratio number must go up. So it's a really simple way to figure out this one was 1 to 20,000. So therefore, this one here, because it's half the size, will be 1 to 40,000. So the scale of this new map will be 1 to 40,000. This is 1 to 20,000. We've shrunk it down in size. So this number here will get bigger because it's been shrunk by more times. 
So therefore, if this is 1 to 20,000, this is half the size, then this one is now 1 to 40,000. So our new little pricey map, or pricey sketch, will show us that this area here has a road running through the middle, a school, a coastline. It has a scale of 1 to 40,000. We also need to put a title on it, which will be pricey map of Belmont. We'd put a north arrow, we've got our key, and we've got some colour. This should really be coloured in, but I only had one colour, so we'll just do some shading, which will do alright for our colour. So hopefully that will give you an understanding of creating some pricey maps from either a photo or a topographic map.